Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'm doing another requested video talking about how we budget. So this will be focused quite a bit on grocery budgeting because that is very relevant to either following the GAPS diet or a Wise Traditions diet, but I am gonna go over kind of how we budget in general since that was requested and I thought that was a great topic. So we use a program on the computer. It's actually an online program called YNAB. It stands for You Need a Budget. And that's a really great program that makes it very, very easy to keep track of your recurring expenses and savings for different things. Basically, basically it's kind of like an electronic envelope system. So you go in and you enter your bank accounts and the newest version is really handy where it automatically puts transactions into the program for you. And then you decide what you want that money to do in all these different categories. So you can have charges that happen once a year, for example, and you break that up for how much money you need to set aside once a month so that when that charge rolls around every year, you have the money there. It's also really great because the people who created YNAB have a whole bunch of articles and tutorials and everything that talk about budgeting that really teach you how to use the software the best way and tips on managing your money and everything. So that's what we use. And then for grocery budgeting, we have our YNAB set up with two different categories for groceries. One is groceries and then the other one is meat. So we like to buy half of a beef at a time. I'd also like to find a good place for doing that with pork too. I just haven't quite gotten that yet. But for right now we do it for beef. And so we will save up, put aside money every month so that every year or however often that we decide to buy half a beef, then the money is there. Now we live in a pretty expensive area. So the cost of living is pretty high here. So you can translate this dollar amount to wherever you live, but do keep that in mind that this is an expensive area that we live in, unfortunately. Um, but for our family of five, just to give you an idea, with our meat budget, meat portion, and our regular grocery portion, we spend about a thousand dollars a month on food. And let's talk about that a little bit because some of you might be like, whoa, that's a lot of money. Uh, chances are if you are already eating this way, um, then you know that that's perfectly realistic. So, but yeah, let's talk about that for a little bit. So first of all, the way that most Americans eat with the highly processed, you know, denatured, artificial type of foods, I read that in general, Americans spend less on food than people in other countries. So. I would like to look that up to get a source for that and um, just kind of verify that. But I do think there's something to that. So here in America, we're all into the processed, fake, you know, junk food full of, um, it may or may not have calories actually, but no nutrients. And we're kind of disconnected from real food like grass-fed beef, organic produce, raw dairy, all of that stuff that takes, you know, a lot of work to produce and when you actually buy it, you're paying the price for real food rather than fake imitation food. So when you know those things, then you know that the cost of buying real food is just, it's the real cost, it's realistic and it's justified. Another way to look at it is that when you invest in your health by feeding your body good food rather than buying the absolute cheapest factory farmed, you know, whatever is on clearance at the grocery store food for the bare minimum price. When you're feeding yourself and nourishing yourself well, that over time does pay off because if you're feeding yourself 
junk all the time. The cheapest, absolute cheapest, whatever you can find at the grocery store. That's gonna show up in your health over time. And when you're well nourished, then you're gonna have a much better chance at better health and not having to pay to remedy health problems so much. So you can think of it as like a health, in, it's part of your health insurance policy by paying more for higher quality food. So even with a thousand dollars a month on groceries and a portion of that being set aside for buying beef, half a beef every so often, we still do, I mean, we could go way over that if we were to just go buy all kinds of extravagant stuff, but we do keep it fairly simple. I have an in-store grocery shopping video where I show you exactly what I buy when I go to the store, but we do keep it pretty simple. Some good staple vegetables. We have our different cuts of meat, our dairy products, and we're able to make a lot of variety just from that while keeping it within our budget of what we've decided to spend. We cook pretty much everything from scratch. That in itself really helps things be efficient and save money. So making it yourself doesn't have to be complicated or time consuming, but it gives you the best quality for your money for sure. I should also mention that our family eats a lot of food. My kids are good eaters and my husband has a very physical job and he eats a lot of food. So chances are not everybody has to spend quite that much on food, but for us, that's what we do. And then like I've mentioned before, growing your own food really helps a lot too because you can get really high quality food better than what you can buy oftentimes for your work and you know minimal equipment and seeds and things like that so that's definitely a budgeting tip as well anytime you can buy in bulk that really saves azure standard is a place that i've mentioned a lot it's one of my favorite places to buy foods in bulk and then one of my favorite places for getting discount grocery items for a few items i don't get a lot there but what i do really helps is finding a local discount grocery store. Now, you might not be able to find this everywhere, but we do have one in our area. It's called Esh's, and I'm able to get really high quality eggs because our chickens don't lay quite enough eggs for as much as we need. So I do sometimes end up buying some. So Esh's will have organic pasture-raised eggs for a small fraction of the price of what you would pay in a health food store. And I can also get really high quality no sugar bacon there as well. And if you watched my in-store grocery shopping videos, you remember that that's what I get there. Okay, so hopefully you found those tips helpful. If you are interested in the YNAB budgeting program, I'll have a link below where you can check it out. I do highly recommend it. It really helps you be a good steward of your money, know where it's all going, and just manage it better. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on natural living and nourishing recipes. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.